maybe cast a shadow across the path as well. I want I want some really light lights on this now. Look, as if the this is white, just a little hint of the, the stone shining in the um, in the brightness of the, the sunlight. I want to look a little bit more of this um, warmth, I think, here and there. Just a hint that there's seed heads and things remaining from winter. A tiny touch of yellow ochre. Break that up a little bit there. And maybe I think I read I'd better put a sheep in this field. <laughs> it looks so <laughs> desolate without a sheep, doesn't it? So over here I'm up against the dark um dark um hedgerow. Bearing in mind, light's coming that way, so we'll just have a couple of woolies doing their thing. So the light edge was white, and I'm using a pink now for their shadow side. And then the char uh, charcoal pants are again for the detail. This one's looking away from us, and this one's peeking here. I presume being in the dales, they must be swale dales. So. <laughs> That's a bit too long, that shadow. It's not evening time. Let's <coughs> lose that. There we are. Now, at that distance, you can't really tell detail on them, so I might just give him a little slightly straighter back. He looks a bit deformed. That's better. I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see them. Actually, he's still got a bump on his bum. <laughs> that's no good at all. Let's um, <coughs> sort him out. When, when you're working on this smaller scale, it's quite difficult sometimes. It's, um, that's better. <laughs> I just suddenly thought that would be quite nice if the fire was lit today, this afternoon. <laughs> And um, if you were doing this in watercolour, you'd have had to have planned for that. So.